In this lecture, I want to give you a brief intro to business modeling, what that is and why it matters in the first place. There is no single definition of business modeling. We can give different meaning to this concept, which really applied to the business world can get several meanings depending on the context. Indeed, perhaps if you're an analyst or investor, the reason why you are looking at business models is because you want to understand what's the prospect of the company from an investing standpoint. For the sake of this lecture, we're going to look at business modeling for entrepreneurs. It's really a framework and a, I would argue a process to unlock long-term value for an organization by really understanding what customers want in the first place. The whole concept of business modeling starts indeed by understanding what customers want, and that's the whole point. And in order for us to get there, we need to experiment as much as possible. We're going to see why experimentation is one of the most important elements of business modeling. Now, there are several ways to break down a business model. There are many tools out there. For instance, here on 4Week MBA, we represented business modeling as made of two primary dimensions. One is people, the other one is money. And by combining the two, we create a valuable company. As simple as that. Of course, this is simple just in theory. And perhaps when you start building up a business model, a few aspects that matter in terms for you to really connect with your customers are making sure that they can understand who you are. So what's your, we can call technically brand positioning, and really what's the value that you offer that others don't. And then really offering something which is better and as aspirational goal, we can have like a 10x goal, but really depending on the context, also providing a, a product which is two or three X better is good enough. And then we combine that with more like the distribution financial uh, you know, part of the business model, which starts by understanding where the key customers are and then it uh, taps into distribution channels that help us really reach our key customers and a profit formula that is going to guarantee a long-term success of the business, at least from a financial standpoint. And if we look at the business modeling, this has become a key tool for business strategy in the first place. Why is that? First of all, when we used to implement a business strategy in the past, most probably what happened is that we would look at the business strategy by you know, putting together a plan or a document called the business plan and then trying to implement that once we got all the resources needed to really tackle those assumptions in the real world. Business modeling flips this model upside down. And that's why today business modeling is so important for business strategy in the first place. Where business strategy, we can define it as, a, you know, an having a deliberate long-term objective and, you know, positioning. A business modeling is really a way for us to get there in the real world. Business modeling is going to give us the chance to test those assumptions as quickly as possible. And therefore, the most interesting part of business modeling for entrepreneurs is the fact that it turns us into uh, really uh, experimenters. So we try to experiment as much as possible. Of course, we are not scientists. As entrepreneurs, we want to understand whether that thing is going to make sense, that idea is going to make sense in the market in that particular period in time. And if so, this is a, pos a potential business model to apply in the real world, which is going to help us over time get to our desired long-term objective. Perhaps if you think of companies like Netflix, Netflix used to be a DVD rental company and now is a streaming company. While the long-term objective might be the same, so that of providing entertainment to, to people, when we look at uh, the way the company got there really changed over the years and its business model transformed over the years. So it took a lot of testing and you know tweaking of its business model. And that's at the core of business model innovation. So business model innovation, again, starts by understanding key customers, but then it moves uh, in different dimensions that go from distribution and its profit formula by combining things like you know technology, the key channels to reach customers and the key assets that will be at the foundation of the business in the first place.